On the second day of the UN Culture of Peace Conference, which was sponsored by Saudi Arabia, leaders from more than 70 countries called for more mutual understanding, dialogue and respect of all faiths and cultures. And the best way to safeguard religious freedom is to aid the rise of democracy. Democratic governments don't all look alike, but one of the defining features of any democracy is that it makes room for people of all backgrounds and all faiths. And on that thought, Iran's permanent representative to the UN, Mohammad Khazai, highlighted his country's record of religious tolerance. He said the Iranian people, quote, have always respected other religions, nations, and cultures. Iran's constitution, he remarked, provides religious minorities with equal rights and that the country's Muslims, Jews, Christians, and Zoroastrians are, quote, playing a constructive role in their society and are enjoying full freedom of worship. Khazai, though, neglected to mention the country's Baha'is. Widespread discrimination against them has sparked serious international concern, including from UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Just a month ago, he said, quote, a significant increase has been reported in violence targeting Baha'is and their homes, shops, farms, and cemeteries throughout the country. Additionally, the U.S. State Department reported that religious freedom in Iran in the past year has further deteriorated. For the Baha'is, along with Sufi and Sunni Muslims, Christian converts, and Jews. Aside from religion, the conference also talked about Middle East peace. We have seen continuing dialogue between Palestinian authorities and Israel, between Israel and Syria, between Lebanon and uh, is Israel. Indeed, Israel's President Shimon Peres expressed optimism about the conference and the Saudi King's 2002 peace plan. It calls for the Arab recognition of the Jewish state in exchange for a full Israeli withdrawal from all lands captured in the 1967 Mideast War. After the conference, however, the Saudi Foreign Minister, Prince Saud al-Faisal, was not as optimistic as Perez. The disappointing part of uh, the statement of the President of, uh, of Israel is that he chose part of the, of the uh, Arab peace plan and left other parts untouched. It is not a peace proposal that you can divide into what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. It is a package deal. So both sides still have a long way to go to reach their peace deal. Nonetheless, many world leaders got to discuss commonalities as a step to bridge the divide between cultures and religions.